We'll open this meeting of Monday, December 29th, 2014. Let the record show that Selectman LaPlante is on vacation. Selectman Dawson is too, but she's here. Thank you. <laughs> um, first order of business, before I forget, uh, next Thursday, we make a motion that we return to 4.30, um, having finished the budget. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, aye. That's not starting at 3.30 anymore, coming in early, Joe. Just the regular time. I come in whenever I want to come in. This is a public <laughs> building. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, at this time, I'd like to make a motion to go into non-public priority 91A colon 3 personnel. Take it. Roll call vote. Yes. What's the yes. intent? Yes. What, what's what's the reason? Last for minute. Going? Last yes. minute change in personnel. Yes. And we're ready. Okay. Do we technically have to seal any of that stuff? Uh, as Anything it pertains to personnel, yes. Personnel, it's at public knowledge, but the minutes of of it gets well, sealed. Well, we're discussing John and his physical right. needs. Right. I make a motion to seal the minutes of the <coughs> non-public session as they pertain to, to pers <laughs> personnel. 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 Right. Permanently. Right. And Publicly, we can Everything say. Everything else is going to be public, though. We've hired a part seasonal part-time John Bossy for the highway garage. Okay. One, one last thing. Uh, we were planning on uh, at 5:04. We came out. Like John Christmas lights, unless. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. After New Year's. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Is there a second? Yeah, I didn't hear what Dennis just said. He's going to shut New the Christmas lights off after New Year's. Yeah. Like we do every year. <laughs> Tradition. Let me know, Joe. I will. I'll give you a call in the morning, Dennis. Okay. Okay. And the ceiling. Can you say a second? Personally. Come on. For my motion to seal the minutes. Oh. Second. We were talking at one time, and then John interjected on that. On not John Dennis interjected to question why you're doing it. All those in favor? Yes. Aye. 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 Okay. Approval of the minutes on October 30th, 1211 and 1217. Unless Tim's coming up. <laughs> no, he's still doing that. So we'll not be able to Go ahead. He'll be up as soon as he can. On the second page? October 30th. October 30th. Make a motion we bring the minutes of October 30th, 1211, and 1217 to the floor for discussion. Second. All those in yes. favor? Yes. yes. Okay. On the second page? <laughs> yep. Third sentence down, it says, um, but one needed to be removed as it was in the right of way. There's no right of way. There's an agreement that allows the trail to go across it, but there's no right of way at this point on that property. Where are we at? Second page. Third sentence down, over to the right. You'll see Capital Regional Development see under it. that conservation, <laughs> and then right of way. I would just leave it as needed to be removed, or as it was in the proposed pathway. Proposed way of the path. Okay, then. <coughs> On the third page, first paragraph, one, two, three, four sentences down, over to the right. Um, G on Tintin. Tin. <laughs> fourth page? Uh huh. Our third page. Yeah. If you put an R to be, you could just then Tintin. Tin. Second paragraph. What paragraph? Second paragraph on the third page. Second paragraph on the third page. Oh yeah, the tin tin. I'm First. I'm on to a second one. Did you get tin tin? No. Nope. First paragraph. First paragraph to the right. One, two, three, four That's sentences down. down. The tin tin. It just needs a G on the end. Tinting. 
Sam? Tintin is uh, New England talk, isn't it? Tintin. Okay. Tintin. Tintin. So you got to leave out the I and put an accent out at the end if you want. Tintin. Okay, All right, second paragraph, last sentence. I think that's more Maine than anything. There was not enough money in the parks budget to get all the work done this year. Um, since we were talking about Main Street Island, um, the, the parks budget was Riverfront Park and Civil War. So either leave that whole sentence out or there's not enough money in the parks budget to get the work done in Riverfront Park and Civil War Park, so we're only doing Civil War Park. Either or, I don't care. Doesn't it say just before that that Main Street and Island were included? We included in the bid, that's why it's confusing, but it's mm -hmm. not in our budget. I see. <coughs> I see. Since we send out an RFP to have tree work done, it's just easier for us to include it. Money would come from two separate areas. That's what correct. People aren't going to understand on page three that under roof um, has an estimate to wash the seams and overlay with six inch pressure sensitive overlay layman on the EPDM roof. It also needs to say on the town hall. And yeah, I don't know what EPDM is, either rubber membrane. EPDM goes way beyond rubber membrane, which is a good thing. Mm. We'll go back to the second paragraph. There's not enough money in the park budget. If it's easier, just leave the sentence out. Okay. Which one is, are we on on that one? She asked about the second paragraph, the very last sentence. The last sentence is just kind of thrown in there. It, there was a big discussion, but it doesn't really go with the rest of the discussion. No, it doesn't. So just leave it out. Or change it. The last, uh, under the chief's report, um, conducted a POD drill at the middle school. Point of distribution, pod. Can we spell that out? Okay, what page are you on? The last page, page four. Okay, and uh, conducted the POD drill? Yep. What is the point of distribution drill? <coughs> well, it's like when they had the uh, avarian flu epidemic, they wanted people to come in and get the flu shots. Mm -hmm. So the pods are the, the point at which the vaccine was distributed. I see. Distribution. Okay. Going down to the next awards and recognition, Credit Bill for that. I would like to see Bill's full name. Uh, Bill who? Patton. Billy Patton. Officer Patton. Officer, Officer Patton. Billy Patton. William Patton. So that in the year 2050, they'll know. I think we should be clear on on when we're correcting these on some of these it's our we're so used to talking about Bill and Ka Catherine would know who we're talking about but it's very difficult when somebody else is doing the minutes to know hmm huh? nothing on Eliza she's doing a, a lovely job no doubt and I will make a motion to accept the minutes of October 30th as corrected as amended second any discussion? All those in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. Yes. All right, December 11th.
I feel a draft. Mm -hmm. Back you. Still haven't closed that up enough. Well, they haven't moved the boxes so that the heat can come through. Right at the top of the second page, uh, the equipment request is for a folder. Now, again, in 2050, they're going to think that that was a manila folder. But it's not. It's a folding machine. A machine that will fold. But it's not very specific. We know what it is. It's a letter but, folder. Huh? It's a letter folder, right? It's a thing that's going to fold papers yeah, it's folder over and stuff the envelopes or what whatever. What you need to do is put it's a, a machine. letter in between A and folder. It's for a letter folder. Mm. Oh, fold letters. I would like to see something about a, it being a machine. A device? A device. For folding. A letter folding device. There you go. Got that, Joyce? Mm -hmm. Yep. Did we get our file cabinet? I'll be coming Tuesday. File cabinet's in the mail. <laughs> On the top of the third page, first sentence, the board need needs need needs to be plural because the board is more than one. The board needs needs to decide. Right? Wait, where are you talking about? Top of the um, yeah. third page. Third page. Shouldn't there be an S on needs? Mm -hmm. On need? Yeah. As the scene as there's a two there, yes. It could be the board need decide, but that's not the way it's written. Board is plural. Um, on highway, didn't we have a discussion about um, putting that money into the capital reserve fund, or is it further down in here? The board will have five thousand for School Street sidewalk, but late raising line seven sixty from four thousand to nine hundred, and then I thought we nine thousand or whatever we got into a discussion about the capital reserve fund. The money should go there, or if there was. I think it was to see if the money could be taken from the capital reserve fund, but you have to go back and look at the definition that was created. It's, it's no, I mean for the minutes, didn't we have a discussion like that? That talked about a capital reserve fund? Right. When we were talking about funding sidewalks? Which day is this, December 11th? Mm-hmm. <coughs> because that's pretty cut and dry. I thought it was more up in the air. Anything in my notes from that? What they, this is December 11th? Mm hmm. Also, it must have been that meeting then. Could have been another meeting. Well, that's what I was, I was thinking. I don't know. Maybe it was the meeting, the next meeting after that. There was a discussion about where that money should come from. It was not as cut and dry as that. Page four, uh, four lines down, Slatman Costantino explained that this association is now doing programs. There's a word missing.
under the page four, there's just an L missing on the third, second full paragraph when it starts, Selectman Constantino moves second by Selectman Dawson that we give Red Cross $500. And then it goes SE, period. Page 400, Pines Community Center. I think this is misleading. Um, I'm not even sure. <laughs> uh, I pointed out that we have funded the library and that the Pines also serve lots of our kids, although not for the older kids. Um, so let me just, we would like to put the money into the youth programs rather than drug-related program, adding that this is a way to attack the drug program. I don't want to attack the drug program. I want to attack the drug problem. Um, I don't know <laughs> what do you suggest. That's, that's yeah. entirely out of context. That, 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 that definitely would give people the wrong idea. I'm all for drug programs, but I want to get them before they get on drugs. I, the program should be problem. Pardon me? Right? Problem. I could live with that. Yeah. I mean, what you said was right on. But that's not what you said. I wasn't inferring that. If it slipped out of my mouth program, then I would definitely eat chocolate that night. <laughs> Can we change program to problem? Yep. On page five, very bottom of the page, it starts selecting Dawson. Um, last sentence, get a price from, it's not the second bidder, it's the other two bidders. Chippers gave me their price over the phone the minute I called them up. The other two had not responded to me by the time this took place. So it's the other two bidders. On page six, top of the page. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Second sentence, they'd like people to use only the entrance closer to Deer Street. It's, that's not the entrance. <coughs> they would like people to use the easternmost Route 311 entrance. check on whether we could limit the amount of time a handicapped person parks in a handicapped space? We had researched it when we were doing the ordinance and it's unlimited. So if you only had one handicapped space, let's say on Main Street, mm -hmm. a resident could use that handicapped space, put their car in it and leave it there seven days a week, 24 hours a day indefinitely. Except for when they're clearing Main Street. Well, I don't know. Can you tow a handicapped car in a handicapped space in a snow, snow emergency? <laughs> we pick it right up with the forks and move it. Put it back when we're done. It's a joke, Catherine. That's a good question. We should find that out. Where is the chief, by the way? Page 
page five, Selectman's report. Al Damas <coughs> is not attending anything. Art Damas is. On page five, there should be some other. I know I didn't just say that Peter Salibus contacted Selectman Constantino about the lights. I think there's a little bit more context that I explained to the board about that. Mm -hmm. Am I right? I, I would like that spelled out if we could. That's going to be important for the future. I think I went on to say that he's going to contact the engineer and get the, the engineer results. Look them over, look at, at what it was at the first lighting um, readings and then get back to us that he ensured us he was on board to make things right. I think that's really important to not leave out in the minutes. On, um, we should also put in that it's the lights for the <coughs> new field. Up there for the too. new field, correct. It's, we should really spell that spell out. That out. The um, on page six, the second paragraph said they were to give phone numbers to highway and police so they can be asked to move the car for plowing. They have not submitted a phone number, so W end up. So we end up. I think it's so the highway department ends up plowing around the car, which isn't. Good. <laughs> Make a motion we accept the minutes as corrected on December 11th, 2014. Second. Motion's been made and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor? Yes. Aye. Yes. This last one should be short and sweet. All right, December 17th. extra $1,000 requested for the Senior Center was based upon expenses for the 2014 and the need to cover air conditioning. That is, no, that is so untrue statement. The extra $1,000 requested for the Senior Center was based upon miscellaneous expenses for such things as that the highway has gone up and fixed. We had a talk about that air conditioner and covering it. I remember that part for sure. And I thought we we had the, what the it's two, worded incorrectly. It's 2014 not. was the baseline, and then based on the fact that we had to cover the uh, the air conditioner and the other things go that up and come up. Things like the the he had to rebuild the metal uh, railings that rusted out. Mm -hmm. um, there's quite a little things there that are happening because it's so they felt that the thousand dollars should cover the highway going up. I don't want people to think that it's based upon expenses of 2014 and the need to have public works uh, right do uh, do maintenance on the building. Based upon expenses for 2014, miscellaneous expenses to cover. You can just take off that whole. Right. Cover after to cover, take all that off. Just replace miscellaneous right. repairs. Right. Because a thousand dollars isn't. Yeah. Gonna, it, I mean that's 
strike everything after it's cut. Right. And put this in these pairs. Is there anything else? Somehow the font that's being used on this one is different from the others. It's kind of hard to read it. I'm not complaining. It must be my eyes. Make them. It's good to stick in the the same font because I know. Is it? Is different it, things. I I can't open it up. Is it different or is it my eyes? I think it's a different font. Right? Okay. I think it is too, but. So if you post it. It'd be nice to have it in the same font as. Grace, I think the font is different on the December 17th. If we stuck to the same font, it would be nice to read and post on the website. Make a motion we accept the minutes as corrected. December 17, 2014. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Yes. Aye. Okay, Tim, you're up. Is it the end of the minutes? Mm -hmm. Three of them. How many trees have to die? <laughs> <laughs> what a lot of papers you have. Uh, well, these these are the pebbles. Circulating those. Pebbles tonight? Mm. Uh, yep. There's a few things. <laughs> Southeast motorcycles. Can't wait to see what that one's for. What is it for? Uh, it's for uh, 2,500 mile service on the motorcycle. For returned motorcycle. Well, they, I think they generally use the same motorcycle from year to year. It's serviced each year. Uh, all right. So I have before you the um, a couple of different things. Um, first of all, uh, let me go right to the encumbrances uh, to start. Um, uh, you have a list of them uh, following my memo. So there's the surveyor, the first one, the $3,500. Correct. Yep. Then we have uh, the excavation company for the um, the um, PD impound lot at the highway garage. That's Mike Farrington. That's an estimate to be approved. Then the Park Commission has already authorized um, the company Chippers to do work at the Civil War Monument and at Riverfront Park. Uh, that's included here. Uh, I'll s skip ARCOM for a moment. Um, I also provided you the Taser quote, which uh, I didn't think had been ordered, but it has been ordered, so you shouldn't need to encumber it um, since it has been it's it has been ordered. So we can cross that out. Yeah, that's what was holding me up downstairs. Um, the other items uh, that were talked about in prior meetings, uh, MetroCat or uh, Mango, uh, I'd issued a PO to them uh, with some stipulations and not to exceed, um, so that we could encumber that which the board had approved uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, the fireproof filing cabinets, those were already uh, ordered and the invoice is in your uh, payables that's going around. And once, um, Joyce will pay for those once they're delivered and installed. And then the blades at highway, those were already ordered and invoiced and those are also in the payables that are circulating uh, from Jordan Equipment. So, um, so, and then also the ammo was ordered uh, that was discussed last week and they ordered, I believe they did order also some uniforms that were needed, uh, which the board had approved for $1,700 towards ammo and $600 towards uniforms. 
so those things don't those things don't need to be encumbered. But uh, the perhaps the 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 one that uh, might take a little bit of discussion is the Arcom quote. You still have tr tree work listed here too. Tree work. On my list, it says uh, E is tree work at cemetery. It's not Lockmere, it's been well. Uh That's an old, you're looking at an old sheet, I think. Are you looking at December 29th? Nope. The okay. I wondered why my list was not the same as yours. Ah. Throw things away. I put up my throwaway pile. <laughs> okay. So, um. The tasers. It's on your list, but... We don't need to. They were ordered. They were I, ordered. Right. Okay. So we're good. Uh, I. That's what delayed me coming up, because uh, I was trying to get the, the quote to include, and the quote is in here from Taser International. It's, it's towards the end. Um, but, um, but when he told me it had been ordered, then it's like, okay, well, we don't need to encumber it if it's already been ordered. We have a quote, so Why do I say they already signed off on it. Uh, I believe the other tree work that you were discussing in Winnesquam uh, was I then think it's today. completed. Yeah. It's completed. Yeah. Uh, so Arcom, um, what we have here, uh, there are two quotes in here. One of which I want to um, I I want to get the board's approval to sign off on, and we did. Um, we did originally budget for this uh, in 2014. This was recabling the police department. Uh, I I don't think I probably need to go through the the uh, issues that they are already experiencing to discuss the need for recabling. But um, this quote here is for Cat Six, which is a different type of. Um, connection and it guarantees a gigabit connection between the computers and systems. Uh, we can save some money by going down to 5E and there may be some reasons why we want to do that. But I have quotes for both here in the town hall, which I don't want to do right away. And I'll explain why I have that here. And then also the quote for the PD, which I do want to get authorized and proceed forward on. Uh, the reason for the two quotes is to uh, free up the money from Metricast. The $10,000. I'm going to ask about that. And I, I've, um, I have talked to the fellow, uh, the new fellow, and, um, and expressed uh, the need for uh, the communication system at the PD, i.e. telephone system, and how what we really need is the cabling over there and then to apply the rest towards the phone system. Well, no go. Uh, cannot be done. So we went round and round and round, and I expressed how these phones are even at the ones we're planning on, even though it's not approved yet, but it's budgeted, is an Ethernet uh, connected system. So, uh, because he said, well, it, it, for us to approve it, it would have to be something that's Ethernet based. I said, well, it is. It's a, and it is a communication system. And I said, it's really the communication, the Ethernet backbone communication infrastructure of the PD. And I could hear him thinking. And he said, well, we can't police what you spend the money on. It's intended for communications and infrastructure, Ethernet, that sort of thing. I said, well, that's exactly what this is. He said, we can't, we can't approve you spending it on PC equipment or a phone system. I said, okay. So as I went round and round with Arcom, who's the, the company that, um, that after quite a bit of looking into for phone systems and cabling, they are uh, one of the standouts. They're much more affordable, and they, um, uh, they do excellent work. They have great references. And uh, they're just really very reasonable people to deal with. Um, so they were very accommodating. We worked on a number of different ways of quoting this. And it just seemed to be the best, the best and easiest way of doing this was to provide Metricast with quotes for exactly what will pass muster with them, which is cabling, Ethernet cabling infrastructure uh, for communications for the PD and town hall. So the two of these quotes in total are more than ten thousand dollars. The grant that we received is ten thousand dollars. 
So uh, I, I personally don't intend to do anything with the cable in here in the, in the near future. Uh, only if we were to replace our phone system and connect up with the TV <coughs> would we then you know, take that next step. So this is, this is really a two-step approach. We have an immediate need to re-cable over there. We, we still suffer from the, the physical cabling that's, that is needed. And it has now become more of the weaker link than the other aspects of it that have been in place. So, um, so that's what I would like to get approved is the PD cabling. And I included the cabling quote for the town hall. Uh, just so that the board understands and hopefully will agree with me that this is uh, the appropriate way to go back to Metricast and uh, release our grant money. I do. If this is going to satisfy Metricast, then I'm all in favor of it. He's, he's seen, he he uh, couldn't officially tell me that, but um, uh, he said everything about that. So uh, as far as I understood it from him, but he's, he is somewhat new. Symmetric cast. Uh, either way, uh, it'll pay for the PD cabling, and then we'll, we might have to, you know, we might have to hunt, you know, for some reason lose a snag uh, with the balance of the of the grant. But that doesn't mean that we can't access some of the grant you know, now. Yeah, if we asked, if we could get him to approve the the town hall as well, the access would be about twelve hundred bucks, right? Right. However, really, my intention is to provide them what they need, have them send us a check for ten thousand dollars, and then uh, we should look at that point in time when we're prepared to spend the money. What are our priorities, and has anything changed? Because we we have to obviously attack the highest priority items. Well, you're going to get the goal is to get the ten thousand dollars from them. Correct. Then it, we should apply it. The town hall needs. Our future needs, correct? That are quickly upon us. I'm just saying that if I could make it, I, well, I don't know if you recall when we lost um, we lost about six of our connections uh, through a storm. Which I remember the, the big fry. Where it went. Oh. Where, what, where so seven years ago? Oh, no, 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 no it's like, um, yeah. Maybe about four months ago? Oh, yeah, no. ago. the big fry. And uh, and I had to go through and do things I probably, you know, wouldn't do on a permanent basis. Uh, hubs and... Uh, I'm just saying... You look closely against the wall, you'll see some... <laughs> if they're going to release the money, then we should do both of these. Well, uh, as what I'd like to what I would like to do is submit them to Metricast and proceed forward. My vote is do it. And oh I, yeah. I and like if they do it, do if both. they accept it, then we'll do both PD and town hall. Just at two separate times. Correct. That's right. Well, well, he's not ready to do town hall yet. I, it, it wouldn't make sense to to do them in one fell swoop. Uh, it, 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 I mean, the, the PD is going to take some time to to work on that project. So, so we apply for the ten thousand dollars. This is what we're going to do with it. Let's get the happens. money in hand. And um, I, mean, I don't want the money used for something else, though. No, neither do I. Okay. No, no. Right. But get the money in hand. And then we'll talk about. But, you know, I, think I agree with you. Well, Get yeah. it and use it for its well, purpose. Well, this building could certainly, I mean, we are going to have to recable this building at some point in time. It's going to have to be done. Because when we go to voice over IP phones, which would make a great deal of sense from a cost perspective, and it would be what we would replace our current phone system with uh, at some point in time, although it's working. You know, today this, this phone system is not an issue. Do you know, I pray every New Year's Eve that what they predicted was going to occur in the in the year 2000 would <laughs> lost a considerable amount of hair in the year uh, i can tell you that uh, i had 5000 clients who were up i was hopeful uh, so in any event um, 
Um, so I would. Uh, I, I'm in favor of it if we use absolutely. it for the purpose that we want it for. Okay. Yep. Do what you need to do to get that money. Yep. From there to oh, our pockets. Eyes. What does the board's yes. consensus on that? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and I know we. I, a, a plan what we're going to do with town hall and scheduling. Yeah. You know, okay. So we don't forget about that. But well, money is for very specific things, and there's a criteria to be met. They don't just give us ten grand. <laughs> Have at it. Um, so if they're satisfied, I think we should make our application, and then we'll do it as we go forward. Mm -hmm. Is this a sure thing? The grant. Yeah. Uh, by all, send them this by all accounts. Accounts. Yeah. It's part of the contract, but it, like I say, it's for very. It has very specific limitations. Talking at once, I didn't hear what John said, and I didn't hear what. what we don't have our. Our. Are they on? Pat's got too much. <laughs> oh, no. They're not on. The mics aren't on. <laughs> No, the, the button away on the. There we go. There you go. Hey. Can you hear us now? Yes, I can. Can you hear me now? One person can talk at a time. Or if the other person could wait until that person's done talking before they say something. How long have you worked here, Joe? You said, what about happen. the something? And then. The, the, by the way. said something, and then you answered, and then Joe. All right, moving right along. <laughs> what did you ask? Uh, I believe I. Oh. <coughs> oh, yes, that make sure that we um, keep moving on the uh, town hall and schedule something or keep that in the works. Okay, the for getting it done. The uh, the only thing I'm unsure about is whether we would. Um, there are differing reasons why we might go six uh, or five e. Okay. Uh, on the the wiring itself, but uh, in here there are cost reductions for five uh, e. Um, but in any case, uh, I would I would like the board to approve moving forward with the PD one um, immediately that I could uh, approve quote 603705 um, and not to exceed fifty two hundred fifty six dollars and fifty four cents. Looking for a motion for that? I'll make that a motion, please. I'll make that a second. This is an encumbrance at this point? This, this would be an encumbrance. I'd, I'd like to see both of them, though. Well, it's not an encumbrance if we're getting the monies from a grant. Well, th this, um, this we one... We don't have it yet. We don't have it yet. This one would be uh, this. So it would be essentially like a reimbursement? Yes. You just need to get this done. I really need to get this started. Okay. And it's, okay. it's a good time in January, February for them do to do this. Do you have something for us to sign? Uh, I, I can. Um, a motion has been made and seconded, so we're in discussion. Do you, ha do you have something to sign or no? Well, I was, what I was going to do was issue a PO to them okay. uh, with a stipulation of not to exceed this amount uh, okay. if the board just voted for it. All those in favor? Aye. Yes. Aye. Okay. All right. Where are we going to be for the the other portion of the grant, or can we submit that in 2015? Right. No, I'll, I'll submit both of them to them, and um, and so then we'll just move on from this. Uh, I wasn't able to get a hold of them uh, okay. today. So um, anyway, I think that that completes the encumbrance list. Uh, so uh, what I would recommend is that you um, that someone make a motion uh, on each of these uh, A, B, C uh, items. So I'll make a motion to encumber uh, monies 3500 for Dave Krause surveying the Manville Road. Uh, also for, mm, we haven't made a choice yet on that. Uh, for the Parks Commission tree work at Civil War Mo Monument, four thousand seven hundred dollars, and we just did our come. Right. For those two, I'll make a motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 This is lower than the previous Aye. bid we had. Let's look at the bids for the um, police impound. Do you have the one? police? I don't know. I can't. No, we don't have copies. Do we? The Farrington is in. Um, 
in the packet. But we have the other ones. What were the others? It was 63. I have a copy of it. So it's just $25 difference, right? Is well, there no, a difference in this? This one was 67.20. Okay, so TNL concrete. Uh, it's a 20 by 30. This is 20 uh, gravel pad with a 24 by 32 concrete. And this is a 20 by 30. And this is 6,700. And th for a 24 by 32 concrete, it's 6,275. Including the excavation. Including the excavation for a 26 by 40. So there's a little extra on the edge. The, um, you'll see on the newer estimate, the estimate for 6,275, Joe, you asked for some some sort of containment on the concrete. Mm -hmm. So they're proposing either a two inch curb or drain notches. Drain notches are what you see in gas stations. Yeah. They're designed to contain mm -hmm. uh -huh. so that you can clean it up. Um, I wouldn't suggest going with a two inch curb because if we want to ever want to put a building on that slab, that two inch curb's going to be in the way. Um, I like the drain notches, and on a slab that big, the drain notches would contain at least five gallons. Oh, yeah. So it's and not those, not those that big a thing. Drain notches, we should have them put them in at least eight inches so that if we do put a building on it, we'd still have the benefit of them. Yeah, I, I, I agree. And the, uh, the problem with the curb is uh, it breaks. Yeah. Plow hits it, chips out. Or no, plow isn't going to hit it because it's a floating slab, so it's going to be way above grade. But you're going to have if this. If they try and clear something off or tow a car in there and bump into that. My doubt. I think we all agree mm -hmm. that the, the grooves are the better. It, it, it would be my, in the way of building. It was my understanding that the chief had the concrete covered. That what? The chief had the concrete fence. covered or that was fence. the fencing? He has the fence fencing. covered. Fencing, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sustenance. All right, I make a motion that we go with Farrington excavation, excavating for 6275 for the impound lot and encumber the monies for $6,275. Second. Uh, how thick is that concrete slab? Is there a standard? Four, inch Four inches. With 10 inch wire. Four inch, all right, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Is that thick enough, Catherine? Yeah, it'll be a monolith, Alaskan monolithic floating slab. <laughs> they don't hey. want a monolith. Okay. <laughs> no, it, it'll have thickened edges. So, if you will, the edges will be thick, and mm -hmm. then it'll come up to a four-inch body. Um, Twelve-inch <laughs> concrete on the perimeter. I'm concerned that you get a whole bunch of vehicles in there and uh, uh, freezing and, and thawing, and you know what the roads look like. Uh, is this going to be an issue in two or three years, where it's all cracked up and? No, it'll depend on the excavating. I can I can go up there and watch them if you want. Somebody should watch them. I do believe concrete, because... Concrete, always remember, concrete is only as good as what it's put on top of. Mm -hmm. So if you have good gravel compacted... Ledge packed, it says. Compacted, uh -huh. yeah, ledge packed, it's good. But All right, I'll go with you because I'm ledge curious. Ledge packed compacts, and I emphasize with them, I wanted something that compacted. Mm -hmm. Sand is never a good base for no. concrete. Well, <laughs> and it's you'll see it's all reinforced. This rebar wire. We can have them throw some fiber. Rebar in. it's in the at the entrance way. Yep. With drain notches. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Those drain are the notches. The containment notches. You see a gas stations are on the perimeter. That's a good deal. Yeah, we uh, can yeah. Um, oh, no, it is. I I don't mind going up there and All right. I'll bring my hammer. I have a motion on the floor. Do I hear a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 It's for Farrington, right? Yep. So 
So that's all the encumbrances. That's all of them. Madam Chair. Yes. Last year, speaking of encumbrances, uh, last year uh, we had a certain budget to decorate Island Park. That's correct. That we spent a hundred bucks on before Christmas and and got some lights and then we took the rest of our money after Christmas and bought upwards of a thousand dollars worth of lights. Mm -hmm. um, th those lights all went on the big Christmas tree. Sadly. Sadly, but necessarily. It right. would have had to come from somewhere and would have cost a lot more than the 400 bucks. Right. Um, I was wondering, right now there's uh, big sales going on at uh, Lowe's and Home Depot on those very same items. Uh, in another week, the pickings are down, but uh, it'll be 10, 15 cents on the dollar. And uh, I was wondering if prior to, uh, I gotta have, I get, we have to do it basically in the next two days, right? Because I can't, I can't. You better get up there. So can you actually get not up to exceed there. a certain amount? Uh, yeah, but I wanted to make sure that we had money and everybody was on board with this because next year we'll need new lights and we'll be paying a dollar on the dollar. What do you think? Um, if someone just goes up there and purchases them, like, I don't know. What do you think for a, a ceiling on it? Uh, just make a call. I mean, two, three hundred bucks. Four hundred bucks. I was going to say five hundred. We, we can get say a five too. What did you? Isn't that what you spent last year? Yeah, we spent five total, and we got like ten times <laughs> for the four hundred bucks. We got ten times what we got for the one hundred bucks. But we wanted to do more to the that island, was, which we didn't do this year. That was the plan. The, the right. top of that tree still needs some work, and. Uh, if the top of the tree still needs work, mm -hmm. and we want to do what we want to do at the island, then I would say 500. Well, it would if uh, you guys would approve up to 500 bucks. We certainly won't spend any more than that. Any and you for that? And, and Dennis are going to go up. Den well, I talked with Dennis. That's what he was saying. Uh, let me know uh, how my request goes. You need a motion for that? To oh yeah. I'll make a motion to approve up to 500 dollars to be spent on Christmas uh, lights. Second. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Yes. 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 Okay. I'll let Dennis know, and we'll go up tomorrow or the next day, and uh, and get them. So you'll be seeing those receipts. <laughs> okay. I just had one other thing on my uh, report, which was uh, regarding Casella. Yep. Uh, I did uh, have a discussion with. Uh, Casella management about the extension and uh, we were also discussing whether or not uh, just ideas about whether or not it makes sense to continue this um, you know this lineage of the 2008 agreement for solid waste all the way through and continue to extend that or whether it should you know this should just be reworked into a current contract that's clear and and um, you know <laughs> easier to you know to put your arms around and uh, in any case uh, he came back and asked uh, uh, they're they're thinking about a number of things in addition to uh, the offer and they haven't uh, they haven't finalized it on their end uh, I actually felt very strongly uh, following the discussion that we had in non-public uh, that um, that there uh, there was one slight change that uh, needed to be made going back to them that had been omitted in that discussion uh, which is what I presented to them uh, but, I but I was prepared to fall back to what had been approved and uh, but in the in the interim and it was very minor but it was still something I thought uh, was the right thing for the town and that the select board would agree with me um, the uh, so they had asked uh, to come before the selectmen and present, along with their regional management, um, some different options in terms of if they shorten a day here or there, or maybe change around how they're doing it today because of things that they see. And uh, I thought that that would probably, 
you know maybe be appropriate at some point in time but that in the in the interim probably the best thing to do is for them to come in and meet either with me or with uh, Joyce Dennis and myself we sort of see what they're talking about and what the lay of the land is and um, because uh, really all I was really interested in was you know does it make sense to to continue to extend what we had which was already lengthy or on the solid waste side or just to try to you know refine it into a an agreement that terminates you know at that extended date um, so I I, I got the impression there might be some additional savings um, they're having they're having ideas maybe about changes to the service that might Correct. work for us and yet save us even more money possibly uh, possibly so uh, I wanted to make you aware of it I I discouraged them from coming in and having that discussion here because I thought it was very premature without you know I, you know how that goes sometimes so I thought it was best does it have to do with the expansion the expansion oh I I don't know I don't know um, I think they need to survive you before they get to us well and that's that's what I was saying I expressed to them how uh, the board had asked me to to work on this and but I, I think you know with Dennis's knowledge of you know the comings and goings of their yep. service and Joyce uh, with her you know familiarity with the agreements and the RFP process that that we should be able to vet the majority of the issues so that that your time is, is well spent when if and when they do come before you or we make a recommendation so uh, and of course I'm looking for you know can we improve upon what we've already um, agreed to you know in this so uh, can we get uh, Mr. DeMoss involved when Dennis comes with that conversation I don't yeah I don't see why not because any any knowledge that he can get on MSW is is a good thing mm -hmm. right going okay. forward Joyce you'll keep him in the loop on the in the meeting okay we need to hear from him soon too and uh, that's really all I have um, all right I had uh, made a request um, uh, in I saw that Okay. So. All right. Thank you very much. The uh, in the exceptions in the payroll, you can read it. There's uh, another pen missing. Died. Yes. Thank you, Kim. Okay. Good. Moving right along. Uh, Just one page. Joyce. Uh, the only two things I have are the assessing contract and you would ask to talk about uh, um, Cannon Bridge meeting, setting up a meeting with Northfield since last Monday, Monday's meeting. Mm -hmm. Thank you. When I went back and looked at the minutes from when Lauren was here, she had suggested um, signing the contract for the lesser amount for the eighteen four ninety five rather than her original one. The um, <clears throat> I think the discussion was were we going to continue with Avatar, correct? Wasn't that the initial discussion? And then I think it was consensus that we were, and that it, we just need to put in the budget now. Mm -hmm. The 18, we put in the budget if we're going to continue with having um, Dari take over some of that responsibility what do we budget do we budget the 18 or do we budget the the 23 right yeah I think it's a little more it that. depends on town meeting doesn't it kind of right. it does so I think that can we budget the 18 and if if the position doesn't go through we can amend that 
the contract as such? I'm, I'm sure we can. She also said she'd go with a month to month. <laughs> okay. But I'll make a motion that we put in the 18, is it 18.5 or 18.30? It's 18.495. Uh, 18.495 for Avatar in the budget. Second. And that would be a one year extension? Mm -hmm. uh, for one year, and we just pay it monthly mm -hmm. right. anyway. And then uh, well, I'll second it and under discussion um, at the end of that term that contract should go out to bid. Not that, I mean, Avatar has done a wonderful job, but it's something that... I think we should do that, that before it ends the contract. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to wait till the end. Like that's in, why we're like stuck June, here. Right, exactly. That's why we're stuck here. You agree with that? Catherine? John? Yes. Okay. Looks like an error. You right? Well, no, that's okay. <coughs> why? Because I felt that we could still get bids and stuff. Well, we need an well, assessor. We'll go for bids in June, and then that will take it in the interim. I think, hindsight, we should have done that in June this year. Yep. Of 2014. Of 2014. Yeah. Should have been done already. Right. But we're now, um, as of Friday, we won't have an assessor. Right. She said so she'd go month to month. That's in the minutes that you just read. I think we're going to pay a higher price. At for what that. rate? Right. She says you she have could, to budget she something she in that slot. Rate. So whatever we decide to do, we have to budget something in the slot. After the first of the year, we can send the, uh, the RFPs right out. I got no problem with that. But we have to have something in that line. Any more discussion? All those in favor of the motion? Yes. Yes. Aye. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Next. Uh, and this contract has already been uh, reviewed by DRA. The only thing that's uh, different is that we would assume more of the clerical work and that the amount is reduced. Did Tim review this contract? Yes, he did. I would like it better if it said once a month, not on average. I said that over and over again. I didn't realize we were going to be doing this tonight, so I didn't compare this with the old contract to see if, in fact, we're signing a contract where they have removed um, yes. like critical functions, abatement dispositions, yield tax, et cetera, et cetera. Has that been... It should be on the bottom of that contract. I don't have the copy in front of me, but she made the change. She inserted it on the... I can show you. Well, I know that says here, mm -hmm. I have reduced the original, but the, was it taken out of this language? No. Just the statement. This one, right? Mm -hmm. Cross that off? Or yeah, no, go ahead. Mm -hmm. And is there a clause in here that says if town meeting should not vote for this, so ends the contract? No, this does not have a non-appropriation clause. Well, then how can we sign it? Uh, it's never had a non-appropriation clause. We have to provide, by law, we have to provide assessing services. Okay, no. but the selectmen are 
by state definition the assessors, which I always thought was quite frightening. But nevertheless, if town yes, meeting it is. makes a motion, yeah, we all know the things that happen at town meeting. This should have that in it. I don't want to be bound to a mm -hmm. to pay them eighteen thousand dollars and not be able to get services from them because we don't have a non appropriation clause in it. Well, let me write one in there. This is my copy. I oh, can't. Come John's on. got the other copy. Okay. And I can't, for the life of me, see town meeting doing away with mm -hmm. assessing. Because I would stand up and say, okay, what you've done in effect is made us the assessors. Good luck with that. Town meetings, uh, our town meetings, uh, well, let's not even go there. They did something that made the state change the laws, so, <laughs> and cost this town hundreds if of thousands If they vote of dollars, to get rid of the assessor, then they get what they deserve, Catherine. Pardon? If they vote to do away with the assessing services, they get what they deserve, because I'll be <laughs> knocking on their door to <laughs> assess know. their house. That's why I always thought you it was frightening. That. I could never imagine myself. Okay, moving right along. Thank you, Joyce. Um, all right, we've made a motion, we've passed the motion. We're just signing it, so what's next? When do you want to meet with Tilton? Northfield? With Northfield. I thought we said why, why meet with them. This goes to John. Everybody was going to look at the proposal. John. Right, there were two bids? Mm -hmm. Everybody was going to read the bids? I do remember that now. And then we decided if it was necessary to right. together. Yeah, you want to do that? Try again for next week? Everybody read the bid proposals? I've read the bid proposals. I still think that somewhere along the line we need to have a meeting to finalize. We don't need to sit there and talk for two or three hours hmm. about this. Everybody should be prepared and we can wham just send a letter saying this is our choice. And we're going to have to sit down eventually. I, do, I firmly believe we should, uh, and even if we have to go across the river, Catherine. Oh, I go across the river many times. <laughs> and as problem, we I. The problem is not going across the river. It's trying the to get problem a problem is trying to coordinate a day. I know. I understand mm -hmm. that. That's not, it's the, the issue is well, not after the After the first of the year, hopefully the uh, board over there will all be able to get together, and we'll all be able to get together and find out a date, because we need to get this going because that bridge needs this work. Who's out on a, hmm? We don't want them to schedule for somebody else where we do. Uh, I don't think those two companies will. No, well, we, and, and we need to get it done fairly quick. Well, the, certainly. The, the bid said, I believe, <coughs> it was strange wording in it. It said 90 days. Um. <coughs> It was unclear in the language in the contract. It said 90 days, but there was an out if you went beyond the 90 days. So I'm good with looking at it and then coming up next week with a who you know a motion to say this is who we want. And yeah. And then if there's some issues, we'll sit down. We'll gladly sit down with them. If we have to go over there, we'll go over there. It's obviously going to be on at a time and place. Probably be a Tuesday. All right, because uh, that's the only time that. Hopefully, not on a planning board night. Can uh, Kevin Waldron can. <coughs> <coughs> okay. That's the part I don't understand. Is they they're all waiting for. Kevin Waldron to be there to have a full board and not all the time we can have a full board mm -hmm. and you know they have, some a quorum, they have a quorum sometimes we just have a quorum on who can make it depending on what meeting mm -hmm. is during the, the week or whatever we won't have a quorum going over there I can guarantee you that but that's unfortunate I don't 
Well, I know your your next two Thursday nights are pretty much booked, so well, we might have a quorum going over there. It only takes well, three well, of us. Well, going over there, but we won't have a full board. board. No, right. that's true. Right. Well, I have right. cooking classes that I teach for the food bank on Tuesday nights. So, you know, we'll we'll just have a quorum is what I meant. Yeah. We won't all be there. No. We'll just have a quorum. So if they just had a quorum and met, but they're they're just hanging the meetings up for all of them to be there together. And that's their prerogative, but it's unfortunate because that's what's delaying everything. Mm -hmm. <coughs> all right. Um, did we get a letter out to... Uh, Tom? No, I'm sorry. All right, we need to get that out soon. Yes, I know. I don't want him to hear that things have been replaced. Um, the other. Okay. Mm -hmm. That checks too. Where are we with the um, Winnipesaukee Agreement? A um, couple, oops, a couple weeks ago, Catherine had written another draft of what she would like to have their letter say, and I sent that to uh, the Winnipesaukee River Trail. Their board met, they, their board meets monthly. Their board met and said they were absolutely fine with that language, so they sent a letter, Rick sent a letter back saying, we're fine with that language, and then cut and pasted in that language. Okay. Well, that's where we No, stand. it's not exactly the language I used. I've, I've, I've read it, <coughs> and I apologize for not reading it again, but there was something. I was going to get to Joyce. It's not exact. No. Okay. Can we work on that? I'll try time? to do that for next Thursday. Okay. And that's... Okay. Get that off our list. Please. <coughs> get it signed and get the money in the account. Okay, so... Selectman's, you have one non-public, did you say? A small non-public choice, did you say? Uh, we can wait. I didn't get a chance to talk to those two oh, people okay. today. All right. Um, Selectman's report. Do we have acceptance of donations here? What, did any come in, did you see? Okay. Not since last month. I just got it. Park Commissioner's got some donations. Um, I haven't received that information. We made some last week, but uh, it does include those. These were not from, uh, from the Christmas one. These are from, from B for in memory of B. There were yeah. three of them. Mm -hmm. Did last we do those week. last week? Last week we okay. did. Last Monday. Okay, I couldn't remember. Um, wrong vendor. Thank you. Yeah, I just I emailed weird. him <coughs> and he said, "Oops." Okay. He was in a rush, so um, he said, State "Pull that knows. check and he'll write a new one." Okay. Uh, it's Granite State Minerals, not Granite State Glass. If the check was to Granite State Glass. They would have been happy. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, what are we buying? Catherine hasn't. Catherine would have found it if you had. <laughs> <laughs> um, Senior Center has a new door. Hey. How is it? Um, oh, I, do I have, still have the picture? I will show it to you. Weather seal good. He he has to. F the trim is a little bit different, obviously because it's a very old door replacing it with a new door. But he still has to finish the trim, and we still have to finish um, getting mango. Oh, pretty door! Do you see it? Oh, nice. And then we'll. The committee will um, paint it. Yeah, it's nice. It matches the building. <laughs> Instead of putting some. The, um, There's a crash bar on the other side? Yes. The, we have keys. We had keys made up today of... Uh, it's like it's crooked. Mm. Look at the it's bottom. not. It's the bottom. Okay. There's it's, no gap. It, does it looks like, like a gap. It does look like that. I think it's... They had a composite up here. It does look at the... Like it certainly does. It's higher on the inside than it is on the outside. Yeah. On the outside. Hmm. He had to take away some of the aluminum siding on the edge because the aluminum siding in the old door went right up to the edge of the door. 
with no trim around it and it didn't look right. So as long as it doesn't have an air gap at the, on, on the bottom, we're all set. We can put a, go put a sweep in there and right. The um, oh yeah. feel it good. Keep the dry out. So there's uh, we had keys made. There are 13 keys made, and each of the people designated for key is to sign, and that they do not duplicate. Um, so we have more control over who has the keys. That's why you got a sign downstairs yeah. for one. Um, if the selectmen wish a key to be made, you, you're more than welcome. But you as need to sign out. The down in the there's there's a master downstairs okay. and an extra. So uh, is there a contractor's key downstairs too? In mm -hmm. case a contractor does work, they have to come here and sign out and bring it up. Is there a code for that key if you have to get in there because Well, that's what I was going to bring up to you. If we should have a code for <laughs> the contractor, just the contractor. So if a code, we give that key out and they sign out, that code should go with that key. All of us have one code and we know that that's where it's coming in. Um, but the cleaning crew and the contractor should have a different code. Than the rest of you? Than yeah, the rest of us. Mm -hmm. I know it's about $30 to do that, but. Right, but um, how do they get the. Because um what, they, what the code goes off, and then they automatically call you, or they call the number, and the, if the person has to give their, their no, code? No, if the, if the alarm goes off, they call me first. Okay. And then I'll say, we. Yes, they they um, they'll tell me. You know, I have to give them a password and who I am first, and then they'll say that we got an alarm at the door, and I'll say, well, what was the alarm code? Okay. And then they'll say, but sometimes it's error putting the code in. Right. So. <laughs> okay. But if I wanted to look at last month who went in. How many times, you know? There's a report of what yeah. code was used, yeah. I mean, the executive committee and the CAP people. We just wanted to have more control because all of a sudden we feel that there's a lot of keys out there that we didn't know that were out there. Okay, so the contractor and the cleaning crew mm -hmm. should probably have some a different key than the executive committee and the program director. Dif different key or different code? Code. Code, okay. Same key. Okay. Same key. January 14th is open house at the uh, uh, senior center to meet the new um, program director. Wednesday. January 14th, I think it's a Wednesday. What's the time? I believe it's 11, but I can get back to you on that. It's a Wednesday. At what time? I believe it's 11. Okay. 11 to 2, or 10 to 1, or 10, 11 to 1, something like that. Did we hear anything more from um, the state on the forestry? Um, the logging on Perkins Road in um, Flysheckers? No, because I still haven't received his report of cut. As soon as I get the report of cut, I'm to send it to the state. And the state will review it. Okay. I didn't know this up till today that Perkins Road is um, classified as a scenic road. And they clear cutted it right to the edge of the road. The, in Samberton or until yeah, the Samberton oh. side. It's a, classified as a scenic road. Where did they? So where did who they classified they it? it to Samberton? How to classify it as a scenic road? Yeah. Just it's the in Samberton. Samberton. Mm -hmm. It's in Samberton. Mm -hmm. Perkins is in Samberton. 
Part of it was in Tilton. Well, then it becomes another road after Perkins. It's no. not in Tilton. Auburn. Goes from Dalton's. The line goes from Dalton's to the corner of Cram Road. That's not Perkins Road from Dalton. Perkins. And then crosses over Perkins Road. Perkins Road starts on the other, at the edge of Auburn. On the other Drive. side of the street, and it runs completely on the left hand side. I just walked it. I know, but. Perkins Road starts at the end of Autumn Drive. Philbrook yeah. Road goes from Dalton. Yes. Well, not really Dalton. It goes And from every bit of it is within the town of Samerton. Okay. So our boundary is on the southern edge of it. On the Autumn side. Okay. It's on, the, it's on one side of the road, and then the road itself sits in Samerton. Interesting. And it's time to perambulate again. Sad, sad, sad that that it would be a scenic road and clear cut it to the edge. Um, okay, that's really all I have. Do you have something? Um, the only thing I wanted to say was uh, with sadness that the Trinity Episcopal Church is having its last mass on January 11th. They're having a service of sorts on February 1st, after which time they will, I don't know how many years it's been in existence, but they will be closing the door as, as a church. Um, sadness. Mm -hmm. uh, on the uh, 2nd of January, there's an underground storage tank committee meeting at the Northfield Town Hall at 9 a.m. Um, at which time uh, I will be making the motion to move the, alternate the meetings every quarter between Tilton and Northfield. We've been meeting over there because it's been convenient, but it should be, uh, because I mean half of the, the stuff is here and half of the stuff is there. The tank is over there, but that's not germane to where we have the actual meetings. Uh, public is welcome to attend 9 a.m. Uh, and the meeting of the operating committee of the uh, Regional Solid Waste Cooperative has um, been postponed until after the beginning of the year. They don't have an exact date, um, but I'll send out the message to uh, the Board of Selectmen, certainly, when they do. It's just to do with the, uh, the housekeeping sale of the... Uh, it's to free up the contract that for the incinerator in Pentecook, which has, in fact, been transferred. But we have a legal lien on the property or something, which it really is um, nothing. We don't have a lien, but they want to they wanna just make sure, <laughs> you know. They've paid a lot of money for this property. Um, the contract that we have with Wheelabrator and that the cooperative has with the incinerator um, is uh, it's, uh, still being honored and will be honored right on through the length of the contract. So no issues there and Happy New Year. That's it. Catherine? Um, I don't have much. I'll give you my health officer's report next week. It's the end of the third quarter. Um, Phone calls have been nonstop. I've been dealing with um, Department of Environmental Services this week over the um, asbestos site. Mansfield Road? Well, as I told you earlier in the fall, um, Al and I walked it <coughs> and after the clear cut and um, the woman who had been handling it came up and she walked it with us as did um, one of the owners and we came up with um, some items that needed to be dealt with and my most recent com well not conversation but communication from the man who took it over down at DES from her because she um, moved into a different department feels that the Let's see, to quote him, all in all, the site is in good shape. So he has no experience, you're saying? Well, I'm just concerned because, I mean, Al and I, without any effort at all, were able to take his Jeep anywhere we wanted to. We did not go over the, the uh, asbestos site itself. But we 
had many opportunities that we could have. So certainly, um, and there were four-wheeler tracks and dirt bike tracks all over the place. Over now, top of the asbestos? <coughs> no, but going into the clear-cut area. So they Are certainly... to gate that? Well, what happened is it was gated and fenced, and everything was fine because it was wooded. Yeah. When they clear-cut it, they took that buffer, if you will, mm -hmm. away. So now you can, <laughs> because they there's no gate tree in the place, in place, you can go right through there. Oh, anywhere, yeah. So now they need to extend their fences in a lot of areas. Um, they need to repair fence. Men. They haven't mowed the field. What happens with when you don't mow, it becomes very, very thin. Very thin. So you don't have a good protective layer on it. So now because they haven't mowed it, the grass cover is very thin, you start getting dirt bikes and four wheelers on there, they will erode that surface away very quickly. It won't take much. The riprap banking between that site and the river has very large trees growing out of it. That root system is growing into the asbestos, the asbestos site. And they're supposed to, as per the agreement that we came up with several years ago, that's supposed to be kept clear. My understanding, and I've got to get clarification from him, I think I'm going to have to drive down there tomorrow and have a face-to-face, -face, is that he doesn't feel that any of this needs to be done, even though the agreement that was signed in 06 clearly states this is what they must do to maintain the site properly. So I'm a little Who bit lost. Were they with when they maintain? when they had the agreement, was it with the Board of Selectmen or Planning Board? It was a health officer. Health officer. Okay. And the Department of Health. Okay. Board of Selectmen. Board of Selectmen. We are the Department of Health for the town of Tilton. I'm the health officer. Much as I hate lawyers, maybe we need to contract with one. Well, because if we have a, a legal agreement that some clown at DES doesn't think has any standing, we need to do something about it because it isn't his water that's getting getting asbestos in it. Well, let me make certain of what I'm what I think I'm reading. Like I said, I, I think I'm going to have to have a face-to-face -face with him so I can get clarification. I have, I have the file. <laughs> and, and just make sure uh, what I think I'm reading. I'd be glad to go with you, Catherine. Absolutely. I think it would probably be a good idea to take some pictures of the things and document yeah. it and, and send them an official did. letter signed by it. We did. And they still did said they that? Did they respond? <clears throat> yes. Well, remember, we... But did they do anything, like after this last time, did they send a letter back or? That's, that's what I'm responding to. Remember, I, we sent them, Al and I sent them pictures we took that day. They sent a representative up, a young woman. Well, <laughs> at my age, she's a young woman. <laughs> and we walked it with a representative from Three Points and they, she agreed that these things needed to be done and they hadn't been done. They needed to be done immediately. She had, but that was done. Since then, she has been promoted down there, so she's no longer in that department. This new person has taken her position, and now he's responding. And as I said, quoting him, he says, all in all, it's in good shape, so I'm not sure what he means by this. And he sent me a copy of the original agreement, so I'm a little befuddled. Yep. I'm very concerned. So I, I need, to, I'm just telling you what's going on mm -hmm. right now. I'm going to go down and talk to him, I think, face to face with my file, with my pictures, mm -hmm. and see how he responds to that. I'll let you know how that turns out. Um, yeah, keep us in the loop on that one. Absolutely. That's such a huge, that's an impact on, you know, planning on future use of the site, and as you said, our <laughs> water. Yep. <laughs> and really the air we breathe. That. And you can see, I, like I said, Al and I saw, you know, dirt bike and four-wheeler tracks all over the place. Um, the other thing, I had sent you guys an email about the accident report from the accident on 1126 during that storm. I don't know if you want to talk about it tonight, if it's something we need to do in non-public next week. I'd rather have the chief in attendance. Okay. I just don't. We can talk about it if you want, and I definitely I saw it. 
I have questions and concerns about the videos that we requested and don't have, but the, the chief is the one to ask these questions of. Um, I, I hesitate to second guess the Northfield investigators, but uh, I want to see the, uh, the videos. He's at I know the station if you want to call him down. Um, I, I, as long as we don't drop it, if you want to have him present, we can either do it tonight or next week. I want him, I would like to have him I present just, to um, ask questions. And I'm definitely second guessing the <coughs> Northfield investigator because I thoroughly don't agree with well, what he. If we ask him tonight, then he can get the information for us for next yeah. week. I think in the videos. And tell him to bring the videos, please. And I wouldn't even put it in the form of a please. We asked for those videos weeks ago and still have not received them. I want to see. I mean, I mean, it's as simple as if you How look at where it says gist of the accident. It doesn't even correspond to what we were told a couple of times what happened. There were four vehicles at this site. Mm -hmm. There was, there were two vehicles not involved in the accident. One off the road on the southern side, one off the road on the northern side. Mm -hmm. um, vehicle one was stopped for the vehicle on the southern side of the road. Mm -hmm. And then vehicle two came along the collision occurred when the first cruiser decided to U-turn in route three to go to the other side of the road for that fourth vehicle. Mm -hmm. In the gist of the accident description, he doesn't mention it. But yet, if you look in the diagram he draws, there it is. There's the fourth vehicle, but it's never mentioned here. He merely states that the operator of vehicle one um, repositioned his car. Is it, is, does it mention the fourth vehicle in uh, Corporal, Corporal's report mm -hmm. in Tilton? I haven't seen that. It should be. I only the fourth have vehicle technically was not a part of the accident, even though it was the reason for Cruiser One turning into Cruiser Two. We have a we have a report from the corporal, the supervisor on duty that night. Mm -hmm. We have the the officers' reports that evening, and we have the investigating officers' reports. And none. Where of are those? The investigator officer from Northfield? No, I have Northfield, but yeah. where are town of, I didn't um, know town of Tilton Joyce had a report. Could you get the file on that? <laughs> the drivers would have to make some yeah, form of report. They had an act. The insurance claim portion. Oh, okay, because I was going to say, I thought... But none, none of them are cohesive in, in what exactly happened. And I, I really truly believe that at some point in time, when we have an, an accident involving an officer and a cr our cruiser, whether they're at fault or they're not at fault, I think that they should come before the board, explain themselves to us in their words what exactly happened and how they could avoid the accident or if they could avoid the accident in the future. But we're not getting this from, we're not fully getting the entire story of what's I know the place. story. Do you know? Well, it's, it's also annoying. It says vehicle one began a left turn in an attempt to reposition their cruiser. Yeah. Right. It's his cruiser. It's, it's like both of them were completely at f controlling the whole situation. They were both you're, controlling you're both quibbling. cruisers. One pulled into two. I'm not quibbling. You're at quibbling. All. Vehicle it could have been stated. his or there. That's just a no. Argument that's about what they're no. using this is, there. This is an official report. That's vehicle one moved right. his vehicle, not their cruiser. Right. Vehicle do. Is then it says vehicle one stated that they had looked behind. Vehicle two stated that they believed vehicle one was parked. Is that the way these things are always written, then Catherine? He. I've never read them like this. Be he or she or, yes. or the driver. Yeah. I mean, okay, so who was in control of the cruiser that was repositioned? Both of them? And you say the same thing with vehicle number one. You know. One pulled out into they traffic and got They by had looked two. behind, so they both looked behind when what they both this, What's the big mystery? One guy pulled out without looking and got hit by the second guy. Ooh. 
My problem is, is vehicle number one made a U-turn in Route 3 uh -huh. in the middle of a horrible That's a problem. storm. That's a problem. Admitted that he that he had no visibility, but he still decided to make a U-turn in the most horrible place in that road in Tilton? He got hit from behind. There's lots of visibility in that direction where he was. He just didn't look. I thought he was by Manville Road. I and, if we, and looking down toward the outlet mall, you could see a couple of hundred yards. Except he was headed east. About the week after this happened. to go west. You Joe. can't see what's coming around that corner. He didn't get hit from that direction. What did you want? My point Joe. is, he stated he had no visibility, and he still makes in any turn. direction. Can, That's right. Can I see something? About a week after the accident, I brought up and I said that we should have the videos from both cars and we should request them anytime a vehicle is involved in an accident we should immediately within 24 hours receive a copy of that video this is why we have cameras in those cars we can discuss what's right and what's on these reports but we we should have a copy of the video in front of us it's been over a month 30 40 there's days. no excuse for it I want to, I want to see those videos next week. And maybe we should have a policy and have a letter that goes to them say that any Where accident or property damage, whether just to the car itself or whatever, that we receive a copy of that, so, so that we're consistent as we are with the other departments in town. Yes. Absolutely. There's no excuse for this accident. There really isn't. This well, goes with the fire. Well, we don't know. He pulled out and oh, into the, the, the an oncoming to the vehicle. Insurance company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, with or without the video, for me, my opinion only, is a vehicle one made a horrible decision of making a U turn with poor visibility and weather conditions and slick road conditions, prohibiting braking, effective braking. Mm -hmm. I mean, hey, can you come down to the meeting? Okay. The, the conclusion of this is it was yep. the storm's Read fault. It was the decision of vehicle driver they number agree. one and making that U-turn. That was a horrible, horrendous decision. And I think... No, he's on his way. Something. Tim sent... When you pull out from the side of the road and run into something, it's your fault. But now, if you read Northfield's report, and then you read uh, Corporal, the supervisor on duty report, tell me that they're not completely, totally different. It's almost like they're different accents. That's the insurance company version there. No, that's made from Tilton, town of Tilton. This is, this is from Northfield. Okay, so that's the insurance company version, but we still have to deal with the realities of this accident. And, and uh, I, I don't take the, the driving of town employees and the bumper car antics of some of the employees lightly. It cost um, over... It cost 10 grand. No, no, more than that. Payers. More, Joy, we have 3,000... Forty dollars that was paid out. Five thousand five hundred and seventy-four dollars that was paid out. Um, Why was the three thousand paid out? One car, the other car. I thought the estimates were both in excess of five thousand dollars on those vehicles. The estimates that I saw were both in excess of five thousand dollars. Well, we have to add a thousand for our deductible. Well, that's all we pay, though. So it cost us two thousand dollars. But it, regardless of what we pay, but they did ten grand. It goes against damage. our insurance. Uh huh. The yes, right. Yeah, it's not like you pay the twelve bucks in the rental car and do whatever you want to it. <laughs> Maybe that's what we should do: is just rent cars from Alamo. <laughs> right. It said so. If you find the payment less your deductible. So that would have been sixty-five seventy-four. Aren't the estimates attached to those? 
I don't think we're consistent in what we do from department to department. We're not. That's the problem. Well, we, we're trying to be. Yes, we are. We're trying to be. We haven't gotten to that point yet, but when the chief gets here, um, I want to be real specific. 65.74 and 3,040. That's almost $10,000. $10,000. Worth of damage to vehicles that... And they weren't doing the it. downtime of those two vehicles. Oh, it's the brand new car, right? Brand new. They're never the same after you do that. The issue of whether he should have made a U-turn in that location, judgment call, and, and obviously not a good one, but the fact that he pulled out in front of an oncoming vehicle is just negligence. Sorry. It's not the storm's fault. All right. Do you have anything more, more in a public session that we need to um, talk about? Budgets next week. Um, we're off this week. And the other Pines. thing is to pull together the revenues. Pines is coming in next week, right? That's right. The Pines is coming in. So anybody might want to be there. Joe, I don't know. If you're next week. Oh, yeah, I definitely with the Pines. Uh, the 7th? Um, yes, the 7th. Yeah. And um, we'll have to get the revenues together for the Budget Committee. Conservation Commission. Well, they no, don't have the revenues. We're still early on that. We won't have the revenues for another what week, Joyce? Yeah. Are we starting to get the revenues now, right? Uh, we just got our check. No, the budget for next year's revenues. Yeah, we haven't worked on it yet. We, we're still getting our end of the year revenues in. We just yeah, are making yeah. our last cash. Because we're early on that right now. We just got our last check from the state. Was being deposited. But our projected revenues for next year? Right. Right, that's what that's oh, so she's we, talking about. We usually about. get them so in <coughs> January. That's so right. We give them to the budget in January. January. So we're waiting. We'll yes. see what we got this year. Right. So we know the numbers right. for next year. Right. Okay. Exactly. So we're, we're just about early on that one. Okay, and uh, Conservation Commission, that nothing's gone on there because um, we meet once a month. However, um, the fence was where the gate is to get into the Ernie site was down. Um, it was down there for about four days. Uh, I went by, did a U-turn, went back and put it back up. Possibly where it's right across the street from the police station, if they see that gate open or tampered with, maybe they could stop and put them up. Or the public works. I mean, I, I, I'm sure I wasn't the only one who drove by there. I would think of a public safety thing. That's it. I have a request from Tim that just came upstairs to, I'm assuming, to approve this? Yes. For 2014, uh, for Looks like two microphones in the stand and the cable. Um, we wanted one gooseneck to be placed over there. We would the other one over there, over your table probably. The total is six hundred and eighty-three dollars and ninety-eight cents. What's this for? A savings of nine hundred and ten dollars and sixty-four cents. <laughs> Microphones. For up here? Yep. I thought to get rid of these. Those, two? they are the stationary ones. You know how you have the top way, way like this and into them? Okay, and we're know, always and turning. Into them. We're always turning these around to. I'm pretty, I'm assuming that that's what that is. I have no. Like I said, I have hopes that this New Year's Eve will. I have a question. Bring us back to with regard call. to this report. The chief coming? Yep. We're going to go into non-public. All right. These. All right. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> someone want to make a motion for Tim's request? Microphones. We we needed the new mics because you can't hear us. 
Mm -hmm. Well, this one guests or right that one is a direct one. You have to have it like right here for anyone to to hear you, and we're always turning this around for them to. But then you can't hear you if you're talking. Right. Well, it's not picked up by the uh, the cameras. That's the issue. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'll make the motion that we purchase the uh, cameras here. Uh, the microphones. The microphones here for six hundred eighty-three dollars and ninety-eight cents. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. That's a savings of nine hundred and ten dollars. You see it nice. on the bottom. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, at this time, I'd like to make a motion. Very nice. If there's no other business to come before us in a public session make a motion to go into non-public as per RSA 91A colon 3 and this will be personnel issues. Second. Roll call vote. Yes. 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 <clears throat> Tell me when it's off. Did he go? I'd like to make a motion to seal the minutes of the non-public session as they pertain to public safety uh, permanently. Second. Uh, discussion, should that be personnel? And you went in under personnel. There's a police department, we usually you went in under personnel. Well, and personnel you related go. to public safety All right. permanently. All those in favor? Aye. 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 At 7.30. Nice job. All right, um, Tim, I gave Tim the, the uh, Sweetwater invoice and said it was, that we approved it. He said, well, it's really going to go for a third, but he disappeared. He really wanted three. Sweetwater? That's the microphones. Oh. All right, motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I don't know where he went. Opposed? Aye. I want to stay. I want to be here. I'm, I'm not asking you that one, Joe. I think I'm going to grab my stuff out of the car. Uh-huh. I'm going to get the year over with. <laughs> I actually.